What's up everybody? Today we're gonna to show you how to do a fixed header in the Divi theme builder using Divi 4.0. All right, so we're here in the back end. You can see we're using WordPress 5.3.2 and we'll show you real quick. We're using the newest version of Divi, which is 4.0.9 right here. And today we said we're gonna show you how to do a fixed header in Divi using the Divi builder in the Divi 4.0. Um, framework so we're gonna jump right in it's simple this is a quick tutorial and we're gonna go jump directly into the theme builder and you can see the theme builder is blank and what we're gonna do is create a new global header we're gonna build the global header we have the section we're gonna add a single row and then we're going to add in the menu module select the main menu that we've already built and the logo here, I'm gonna use dynamic content and set it as the site logo. We're gonna go under the section, into the background, we're gonna make this a black header. We're going to change all of the options here. So there's nothing here, but I wanna make sure it's transparent. And then we will also go into the menu module, change a lot of what's going on here. So we're gonna make transparent, we're gonna go into design and go to menu text. We're going to change the active to uh, a very full on white. We're going to change the menu color to have a, a hover function. So we wanna make sure that when it's regular, it's going to be white, but it's going to be transparent. We'll go down to a 0.6. And then for hover, we're gonna go all the way white. So it's gonna go from that to this when you hover over it. And we can change the font, you know, if we wanted, we can Put whatever we want. Poppins is a good one. Uh, we'll go maybe up in size just a little bit and maybe we'll change it to a lighter weight. So cool, looks, looks good. You can get fancy with this. You can add in different code. You can do all kinds of things. Let's take this and make it full width. So we're gonna go under design and sizing and we're going to change this to 100%. We're going to go 100% here except we are also going to change spacing. So left and right, I wanna do 5%, which will keep things kind of moved in just a bit. And let's go back into this menu module. Let's move the text back over here. So if we go all the way right, it pushes. All right, this is center. I guess it's, it naturally centers around the logo, which is a little strange, but that's okay. So now we've got this and we're gonna change some of the, the settings because this would be way too big, right? So we'll go to spacing, top and bottom on the section, we're gonna to go to zero pixels. And when you come back in here, you'll see that the row takes up 100%, but we've still got a little space between the top of the row and the module. So we're gonna go under row and we'll go to spacing here and we'll go up maybe five pixels. So that gives a little bit of space, it's a good header. The other thing we wanna do is set a finite height. So under sizing and here, let's say 70 pixels is where we're gonna start. And you see how it chops things down just a little bit, right? I'm going to put the minimum is 70 pixels and the max is 70 pixels for desktop. And what this is gonna allow me to do is to go back into this and change the sizing on here as well. So this, height will just be 100%, minimum 100%, 100%. So that changed here and now we'll change the row as well so that the sizing fits within the actual um, section. So we'll go put that there. And what we'll need to do is go to the logo size. You should be able to adjust the sizing here for the logo. So now things are pretty much in its place. You know, we've got the layout the way we want it. At least something, you know, it looks, it's, it's usable, right? Um, so what you wanna do is change the section. So we're gonna go under advanced, custom CSS and main. And we wanna do position fixed with equals 100% set the position. And so one other thing we would definitely need to do is whenever we make this thing uh, fixed, we need to change its Z index. We wanna make sure that it shows up above everything else. So we're gonna go way up, right? All the way to the very top. Nothing should jump ahead of that. 
in the Z index. It should be at the very top of everything always. So we're gonna save this and jump back into the front end and everything should be as it should be. All right, so we've got everything here and as you can see, it's hidden behind the admin bar. That's one of those things that just happens, <clears throat> excuse me, it happens whenever um, you're in the back end. If we were to log out, I'll show you here. You know, if we were to log out, you would notice that everything fits to the top of the page the way it's supposed to. Let's go back to the site. Uh, the menu will fit just fine. Um, the content will fit just fine. And as we scroll, that menu stays fixed. Now, the only other downside to this is that you can see the content is very tough here. I mean, it's very to the top here. It's right by the menu. So what happens whenever you do this position uh, fixed, it moves everything else up. So this section here, um, the, the padding, is really dependent on the height of this. If this were any bigger, it would overlap this content. So what we're going to do is log right back in and we're gonna fix that issue really, really quickly. So in the back end, we're gonna jump back into the theme builder. We're gonna go back into the global header. And one thing we're gonna add here is something that'll help space out that content. When we open up the website, we'll do the inspect tool and I'll show you exactly what that looks like. While that opens, we're gonna go back in here. We're going to pull up the, the code view or the grid view. We're gonna add a code module and all the code, because we're gonna add some CSS, needs to have style tags. Style. And we're going to go to main, content, adding top 70 picks. So we added 70 pixels because earlier, you remember, we created that max height on the section as 70 pixels. So technically our menu should never get more than 70 pixels high on desktop. And if you were to get really de deep into the customization, you could change the size of this stuff. So you could make it smaller if you shrunk down your menu for mobile. But we're just showing you the concepts here. So this ID, main content, is going to be where this is housed. So if we go down to the inspect tool and use a Google Chrome, it'll pull up the, um, the inspect and we'll go here to the very top, right? And you're going to see main content. So this is an ID, so that's the hashtag main dash content. And you'll see, you know, here we've got the main content. What I wanted to add is padding top and we were gonna go 70 pixels and you see that content push down i'm going to go back in here i'm going to save this so everywhere that this header lo loads on the website we're going to have that spacing on main content it's going to push the content down just a little bit so we're going to save all right we'll exit and we're going to save this theme builder one more time and now we're going to log out so we can see what it really will look like without the admin bar kind of messing up the css and when we get back into the front end, you can see now we've got the proper space. And as we scroll, that menu just sits there. You know, we talked about the hover effects and everything, and then you can go in and customize it. You can put an image as an SVG. You can change the fonts here for the menu. You can build out your website, however it is that you need it. It's really that easy. And it's as simple as that to go in and create a fixed header in WordPress using Divi 4.0 and the theme builder. So I hope this has brought you some value. I hope you really liked it. Um, leave your comments below if you have any specific use cases that we can help you with. Uh, you know, we'll do, we'll do our absolute best to get to those. And if you're interested in helping getting more of these videos made, time is everything, right? We're trying to run a business. We're trying to create podcasts. We're trying to do a lot of different things. So the time and the freedom to be able to come here and do these tutorials for you is everything. Uh, we can't do that without you. So if you feel the need and you like what we're doing here and you have a dollar or two or five or whatever it is a month to support us, jump over to keeganlinearmedia.com forward slash Patreon and support um, us in the content that we're creating because we want to get better. We want to do this more often. We want to bring you more tips that will ultimately help your business and help educate you and supercharge your Divi journey. So thank you, we'll see you in the next video and we hope you have a very, very happy holiday. Mm -hmm.